How's it going everyone? Lunar here and today's video is going to be helping you all out with OBS settings. I'm going to go over my OBS settings and what I use to record and everything like that. I used to use the regular OBS, now I decided to use the OBS Studio. It is a ton better. I always had problems with the regular OBS in the past and I have not had a single problem with OBS Studio. So if you're having problems with OBS, I suggest switching over to OBS Studio. Now other than that, we're going to go ahead and hop into my settings. My output settings here I can get into another video for streaming settings just let me know if you'd like that down in the comment section below but we're gonna go jump over to the recording tab of course you're gonna have your standard file output where you're gonna put your files now recording format I suggest and always will suggest using mp4 it's just an easier file to work with every single editing software can work with mp4 and it just makes everything a lot more seamless when it comes to editing and uploading and everything like that you also get the best possible quality you can especially when uploading videos to youtube now as far as the encoder a lot of people just use the regular h.264 now that is just going to be pulling the power from your cpu i am actually pulling my power from my gpu and it takes the load off the cpu i do not have a single problem when it comes to recording counter strike when it comes to recording pubg call of duty any possible game you can think of i have not had a single problem with recording and using this setting now the other thing that you can see, I do use two audio tracks. The first one is going to be for regular desktop volume. Anything that's going to be coming through my headphones, like game sounds or anything like that, is going to be on one audio track. And then I have my second audio track for the mic that you are listening to currently. It just makes it easier for editing. It makes it easier to make the voice and everything like that sound a lot better. And you don't get any annoying background noise, especially if you're doing live gameplay. If you are interested in doing live gameplay or already do live gameplay and don't use two audio tracks, I highly suggest it because because it just makes everything a lot easier. You can adjust volume separately and it just really makes your life easier. Other than that, I don't use a rescale output. I don't have the custom settings or anything like that. Now for rate control, I do use CBR. And since I am using my graphics card, I do the bit rate to 15,000. I never adjusted any keyframe intervals or anything like that. And my videos are still outputted at 60 FPS. A lot of people will say that you should put your keyframe interval to two but I've never had a problem with using it at zero because it just automatically adjusts zero is the auto so and I don't bother to mess with that because I've messed with that in the past and it has messed up recordings other than that you still got your preset set to default my pro my profile is on main my level is auto I do have used to pass encoding selected GPU is on zero and B frames is on two. That is my settings. Other than that, when you go into video settings, as you can see, I'm using 1920 by 1080. My custom FPS is going to be at 60 and the downscale filter is the one that starts with an L. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I will absolutely butcher that but essentially those are all my settings and then you come over into audio I do have my sample rate at 48 and then from there which is gonna be my mic that you guys are currently listening to this is just gonna be the mixer that it's on I don't have like any push to talk any mic delays anything like that set up either so those are pretty simple settings and hopefully they all work out for you guys now when it comes to the NVENC I've gotten a lot of questions about this and this like I said is just pulling from my GPU the way you should do this and the way you can do this you cannot do this with the AMD GPU you can only do it with an Nvidia GPU but it just makes recording so much easier because your CPU can work as fast as it wants and as fast as it needs to and then your GPU just does the rest of the work but I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it helped the people possibly who are having any problems with OBS or anything like that maybe it helped you guys out if you're able to use these settings and they work for you and and then other than that, if you are new to recording, you have an NVIDIA GPU, I highly suggest these settings because as I said, I've never had a problem with any game at all. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. My name is Lunar. Hope you all enjoyed this video and it helps you out. And I'll catch you all with another video tomorrow.